Hello Carol Bell families. The video that you are about to watch is our return to school safety plan here at Carol Bell. Please watch with your child to ensure a successful day at school. Thank you. Good morning ma'am, good to see you. Hi Addie. Let me just make check my list to make sure that your name is on it and it is welcome back come on out and ma'am i see that you have your car tag in your windshield thank you so much for that just as a reminder to please make sure to have that posted in your windshield every morning and every afternoon awesome have a great day come on in miss adi good morning adi i have missed you so much i am so glad that you are back here at carol bell and adi it looks like you are ready for the school day. Can you tell me some of the things that you did to get ready to come to school today? My, my parents completed my self-checklist. Your parents completed the health survey. Um, I brought my mask. She brought her mask. I brought all my books. She brought all of her books. I completed my... I brought my laptop and headphones with a mic. Oh, she brought a laptop and headphones with a mic so her teacher could hear her. And most of all, I'm here on time and I brought a water bottle. Oh my goodness, Adi, you are ready and prepared for a fantastic day of school. All right, let's go. Let's get this started. Good morning, parents and students. I am Dr. Christensen. I am the principal here at Carol Bell. I want to welcome you back to school. We couldn't wait to have you here. Please know that the staff and I have been working very hard to make sure that your student returns to a school environment that is safe and fun. Reminders is that you can drop off your students as early as 7.30 in the morning, but please stay in your car until we check each of your cars to make sure that we are ready to start a fantastic day at Carol Bell. We thank you for all of your support and please know we're always available to answer any questions or concerns that you may have. Good morning, welcome back, it's so good to see you. Just a reminder, honey, that every single morning when you come to school, when you walk in the door, you're always going to be greeted by someone here. We're always going to have you sanitize your hands. You ready? Yes. Okay. Awesome. There you go. Have a great day. Welcome back. Have a great day, too. Awesome. Good morning, parents. My name is Miriam Campos, and I'm the academic dean and assistant principal for your child. I'd like to welcome you to the school year. And just to remind you that we are very excited and looking forward to the school year, regardless of which learning option you chose for your child, whether it be in person or virtual, we are looking forward to it and will continue to encourage your child's academic success. Thank you, have a great day. Hi coach, I have a way to start my day. Oh, Adi, it's going to be a fantastic day today. Fun. Good morning. So each day when students arrive at school, they will be led into the gym at designated spots where they will be waiting for their teachers. These spots are six feet apart to ensure social distancing, and then the teachers will arrive and take their classes. All right, Adi, looks like your teacher is here for your class. Have a great day. Marcus, I'm so glad to see you. Hi, Ariana. I'm so happy to see you too. Welcome back. If you'll please take your seat and get ready for breakfast. Hi, my name is Miss Arcos and I'm one of the fifth grade teachers at Carol Bell. I'm so glad to be back face to face with some of the children. So I just want to go over some of the procedures that we have to make sure we're going to follow all safety protocol. Beginning of the day, the students will be having breakfast in our classroom. And to ensure that they have a successful day, we're gonna make sure that they bring every tool that they need to be able to do their assignments. So Adi's gonna show you some of the things that she'll take out of her backpack. So Adi, if you'll please take out your tablet, the charger to make sure we have it charged all day, and headphones and a microphone to make sure that she is not bothered by anybody else. 
and that she has everything she needs. Okay, Adi, next thing, if you'll take out your water bottle. To make sure we're following safety protocol, we're not allowing the children to use a water fountain, so they will need their own um, water bottle to make sure they stay hydrated all day. Okay, next, if you'll please take out your, um, any other supplies that we had sent to you at home. So anything that your, your teacher gave you at the beginning of the year that you picked up, if you'll please make sure that that comes back because it will stay here on campus and she'll use it during the day. Okay, I want you to also notice that we're just gonna pan around my room and notice that this school, this classroom is set up so that they have exactly six feet between all of the plexiglass areas. Everywhere that you see a plexiglass a spot is where a child will sit. The children will not be rotating. We will rotate instead to ensure that all safety is being followed. Hello students and parents. My name is Nurse Nino. I am the school nurse here at Carroll Elementary. I wanted to let you know that our school and our clinic is set up to make sure that your student is protected with our policies and protocols that we have in place. We have an isolation room here across the hall, directly across from me, where we will put our six students that are not feeling well until a parent's able to pick them up from school. We have enlisted several safety protocols here in the clinic as well. Um, for example, I'm going to have plexiglass around my desk. I'll be wearing a face shield, gloves, and a mask whenever I take care of your students for first aid, medication, if they lose a tooth, or if they need an ice pack. Um, right now, I'm gonna show you how I wash my hands and everyone's welcome to do the same way that I do. Um, I take a little extra steps um, involving not touching the faucets and the knobs on the doors, but I'll show you how I do that in just a second. So first off, whenever I enter the restroom, if I come to the sink, I do like to, if it's available, I like to grab a paper towel so I don't touch the knob. Um, you wanna wash your hands with warm water, but not hot, because you don't wanna burn yourself. So I do wet my hands a little bit before I get some soap. And you wanna get enough soap to lather both of your hands on the top and in between your fingers. And it's important to make sure that you're rubbing vigorously for 20 seconds. So to make sure that you're doing that, you can sing the Happy Birthday song twice, or you can sing one round of the ABC song. So make sure you're rubbing vigorously really good um, to get off all those germs and particles, um, especially before eating, after eating, um, and after using the restroom. You could also just count to 20 in your head as well. That's usually what I do. Um, and then rinse really well. Um, what I like to do if I don't touch the faucet knob is I do get another piece of paper to turn off the faucet. And then I dry my hands. And then if I need to touch the doorknob to leave the restroom, I will use the paper towel that I got to open the door. And then I toss it in the trash. And that just prevents you from touching the dirty knob after you've just finished washing your hands. Just another method of prevention just to make sure you don't get any germs on your hands. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about, if you do need to sneeze, it's really important. Uh, we'll all be wearing our, our masks during the day. That is a requirement. Um, if you do need to sneeze, I would recommend that you sneeze in the uh, notch of your elbow here because our masks are not completely sealed. So if we do sneeze or if we cough, particles will come out from the sides of your mask and into the air. So it's really important that you sneeze or you cough into your elbow. Or you could also do um, into your jacket like this or into your shirt. Hi, Miss Salinas. I can't wait to have pizza for lunch. Hello, Adi. And yes, one of our favorites is being served today. And we always sanitize when we enter the cafeteria. Okay, thank you. Hello, Carabelle students and parents. I'm Miss Salinas. I'm your child's counselor. Just know if your child is struggling or has any challenges or needs my support, I'm just a phone call away. Hello, parents and students. Here in the cafeteria, we have a well thought out safety plan to keep your child safe at school. We have markers on the floor to keep your child six feet apart from their neighboring friend. When your child sits down at the cafeteria, we also have the table mark to keep your child six feet apart again from their neighboring friends. And we have one way entrance and one way exit for your child as well. 
And these are some of our safety measures that we have here at Carabelle. Hello, students and parents. I'm Ms. Gibson, I'm the school social worker. I help students and families. If there's anything that you need, any kind of resources, please feel free to contact me. While in the hallway, markers have been placed six feet apart for social distancing. The markers are placed on each side, one for one direction and the other side for the other direction. Hello, my name is Mr. Hernandez, the campus head custodian. My team and I are eagerly preparing for the true arrival of your children. My custodial team has a frequent cleaning schedule of doorknobs, door handles, tables, student work areas, and restrooms to keep your children safe. We are using an electrostatic sanitizers and disinfectants to keep campus and buses sanitized. Your child safety is my priority. Hi, Miss Arcos, I'm back. Did you have a great lunch? Yes. And did you follow all the safety tips, washing your hands and staying six feet apart? I did, and I'm ready to learn. Perfect, come on in. Hi, parents. I wanted to go over another safety procedure that we put in place at Carol Bell. We're going to talk about dismissal procedures now. We will be following a staggered schedule of dismissal. So in the front drive-thru, we're going to have pre-K who will dismiss at 2.50 at the front drive-thru. After 10 minutes, then we'll have kinder through second dismiss at three o'clock at the front drive-thru. In the back drive-thru at three o'clock also, we'll have third grade through fifth grade dismiss. We also will have some walkers and some parent pickups in person. If you'll please make sure that you do that in the uh, playground area, but remember the playground is not open for anybody to get on any of the um, Jungle gym or anything like that. We need that to stay closed and the playground is only open for you to pick up your child And be dismissed because we want to make sure that we saw we follow any safety protocol oh, I think I see my mom's car right there. Okay, let's let the cars get a little closer and once we both see her We'll make sure that a dismissal patrol will come and they'll help you or she'll help you load into the car. I do see your parent, Adriana. Okay, let's go ahead and get ourselves ready to leave. I hope you had a fantastic day and a safe day especially. And we will see you tomorrow for another fantastic day at Carol Bell. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching our return to school safety plan here at Carol Bell. We are so excited about Monday morning. We are eagerly anticipating a wonderful day here at school. And parents, we thank you for supporting us and we thank you for helping us keep your child safe. Should you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to address those with your child's teacher or call us at the front office. Thank you so much. We'll see you bright and early on Monday morning. Reminder instruction starts promptly at 750 and we are so excited that you are coming back to school. Carol Bell is a place where great teachers teach and great students learn. Have a wonderful and safe day. Thank you.